Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another dreary day. Look at those clouds. We got rain coming. We got the skid loader out here and we've got a mess. So I've got to fix this disaster right here. Water is puddling up in this area and this is right beside the mega shop. If you watched the video a couple days ago, you probably saw I tried to do this, but it was frozen, so I couldn't do it. So this is gonna be where the butcher shop entrance is, right here and right here, and I've gotta pour concrete right through here. This is not level. It dips down and pulls up water and it will not compact. And we don't want to pour concrete on sludge. So this is rock dust. It's screenings from the rock quarry. Basically, this is what washes off of the clean stone like you see out here in the driveway. So what we're gonna do, take the skid loader, we're gonna get in here, back drag this, smooth it all out, get rid of these two piles, dress this all up and make it look awesome, I hope. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is gonna be a fun get it done day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. I ain't afraid of work, I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. Afraid of life, times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. That's right. Oh, baby. earplugs. Every time I run a piece of equipment for longer than about three minutes, I'm always wearing earplugs. These are the ones that I like to use. They are 31 decibel earplugs and I get them on Amazon, subscribe and save. I'll post a link to them in the video description. They're kind of skin colored, so that's why you don't see them. And they stay here on the skid steer. Each machine has its own jug of earplugs.
Dude, that really came out nice, didn't it? <laughs> uh, so this is not the final finished grade, but that little skid steer is a beast of a machine, man. I have worked this machine more than any other machine on the farm. Really, really like that. Trying to do this with a farm tractor is a very time consuming task and you have to be really, really good. This kind of takes all the work out of it, but man, look at that really really turned out nice i'm gonna say we're pretty close to the finished grade now the lens makes it look bubbled in other words it makes everything look rounded but i think it looks absolutely fantastic water comes out from around the building here and i've got a trench all the way down to get water away from the building on the front side and i've got to bury all these pipes but what i'm trying to do is just dry this area out by making it just a little more flat and a little more level and i think we accomplished that goal guys thanks a lot for joining me here on the stony ridge farm I just had to get some work done and I wanted to take you guys along as I got it done. The little Gale skid steer did awesome. Guys, if you don't know what this machine is, this is a Gale RT210. It is a, what does it say on here? 71 horsepower machine, has a Yanmar diesel engine in there, clean as a whistle. This machine only has about 400 hours on it. So really, really awesome track machine. It has what's called ideal tracks. Ideal tracks, self-tension. In other words, the fear of losing a track is not there. Awesome, guys. Thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. The sun's going down. I gotta take the skid steer, hook up the wood chipper, and we'll see you guys in the next video on the farm. All right, woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge, bring your wife and 